We're doing a lot of work in Stage It, making improvements across the boards. Uh, one of which I want to highlight is addition of a new light type sun. So um, we recently added uh, spotlights and just normal bulb style lights um, that really add an awful lot to your scenes. Um, you can do some really awesome things with, with lighting and shadows and colours and all this good stuff. Um, but we hadn't added the sun because that required uh, a little bit of extra thought. Uh, and also some 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 implementation, but I'm happy to show you a sneak peek of it. Um, and this is it right here. There is the sun, um, uh, uh, and so we can turn it off. So this is what this scene looks like without the sun. So I can turn on the sun, um, and you just add it like you would a standard light. Um, and it's got a number of properties. So shadows is really important so without shadows it washes things out a little bit so you want to enable shadows that really looks nice and then you can set the brightness and the color and i've kind of got it set up to how i how i want it so a soft late afternoon or early morning sun so i've come outside to demonstrate the real world positioning of the sun so let me show you how that works so we've got the sun in the scene somewhere let's see if we can find it oh it'll be up here right above us so as i say I can position that wherever I want. So I can put it over there. I can put it there. I can put it there. Anyway, I can position that wherever I want. I'm going to put it somewhere near the correct sun. So that's the sun in the in the sky. Let's open that. Let's put a plane on the floor. Scale it up. Let's give that plane a material. Let's give it an image. Let's add a material. I've quickly just added to a scene a plane with a crude grass effect and a building so that we can see some effects of the shadow. So if I open up the properties on my sun again, uh, so it's still up there. Um, if I go to properties, I'm going to go ahead and set some properties on it, give it some nice colour, give it a nice golden colour, make it a little bit brighter, go to about one lump and then just going to apply some shadows which give us so now you can kind of see it working really nicely you can see light coming in through the windows here and you can see the shadow being cast by the building so that's really cool now the real world positioning it's a glorious sunny day so there, there is the real sun there is the stage at sun they look sort of similar okay let's do this so if we go to transform this is where you would position it uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to use real world sun positioning. I'm going to use the current location. And the time of day is 10 past 1. There we go. Uh, and the month is October. Right. So now we've set that up. Now the sun is over there. That's not right. The reason that's being is because the scene doesn't know where north, east, south, west is in relation to X, Y, Z. So we can set that too. So if you go into reposition scene, and you can see here I can position the scene using the grid, which will rotate the whole scene. But I'm going to leave it like that. Actually, what I want to do is I want to set the compass so that north is in the right direction. So north is that way so just want to rotate that around a bit yeah that's about right so now when we look up in the sky we can see that the stage at sun is pretty much on top of the real world sun meaning that the shadows being cast by the stage at sun on this model will be exactly the same as the shadows that would be cast by the real world sun should this model exist in the real world and it's really really brilliant for planning what i've gone ahead and done is i've the plane i put on earlier i've made a lot bigger so that i can see shadows and i've put in this gazebo that i want to build um, and now i can see how adding this gazebo in is going to affect the shadow map if we build this gazebo here the shadows are going to be like this at this time of the day at this time of the year 
we can hide the gazebo so we can kind of see what that might look like when it's not there so nice sunny day great big shadow the beautiful thing is now i know what the gazebo is going to look like on a day like today but now i want to see well how will it be in june so i can go ahead and slide that slider to june same time of day sun's in a very very different position it's up there and the shadow is a great deal smaller how cool is that so this allows you to plan your builds whatever they be be they home improvement landscaping event with a with a real understanding of how that's going to affect shadows in particular when it comes to sunlight based on your current location time of year time of day we think this is a pretty cool feature so that's the addition of the sun i hope you guys find that useful um do let us know if there's any other features you would like us to add to the product sun will be in a release hopefully in the next week or so and um, we've got a bunch of updates bug fixes uh, a, a lot of redesign that's coming out over the next few weeks so keep a uh, keep an eye on it stage it is really rocketing on in terms of improvements thanks for time thanks for watching comment below if you've got any thoughts or get in touch if you need any support